Hey guys, TNC here. I've got a video for y'all about my Shimano reels and y'all get ready. I'm about to be flexing on all of you guys with my Shimano reels. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the good, the beautiful, the ugly, and why I use mostly Shimano equipment. So stay tuned, please like and subscribe and enjoy. So why is it that I use mostly Shimano reels? I've got plenty of Lou's, Abu's, you name it, but Shimano's, they've been a name that has stuck with me for quite some time. Why? Well, let's start with this reel, a Shimano Sitica 200E. So here is the Shimano Sitica 200E. This is a reel that I've had for about 10 years and I still use it. I've never really felt the need to move on from this reel because it still flat out does the job. Um, super smooth, still casts good. This reel is one of the reasons why I trust Shimano so much. Um, here are some of the specs, 7.8 ounces, 6.2 to one gear ratio, SVS Infinity braking system, super durable frame, aluminum spool, holds plenty of line, and an aluminum star drag. Here is the braking system on the inside. This is very textbook of plenty of Shimano reels, unless we get into a very special reel. But this particular reel, I've just, I fell in love with this reel ever since I've had it, and I've never felt the need to move on from, from it. Just amazing. This reel cost me about $120 when I purchased it. It's an absolute bang for your buck. Who knows how much longer I'm gonna keep this reel. You can find plenty of these online. You can find some on eBay that have them. Some of them are probably used. Some of them may be new out of box. Um, I'm not sure. Um, you can also find some of them on other other websites that have them. If I do find a place, I'll put it in the description for y'all. Up next, we have the Curado 200G6. This model Curado is the one that everyone hated. This is when everyone thought Shimano was going to fall off a cliff. And to be fair, it wasn't as good as the previous E models, but for myself, I managed to get about a good six years of use out of it. Um, I could have gotten something better, but the reel didn't fail me. And at the time when I was a young kid, that's all that mattered. Um, here are some of the real specs. 6.5 to one gear ratio, 7.2 ounces, aluminum frame, graphite star drag. And from that and maybe some of the other specs, you can tell it definitely wasn't designed like it's bulletproof previous model. Here is the braking system on the inside. Basically the same as the Sitica that I showed you earlier. Um, again, I've always liked the braking system in Shimano's. Um, I know some people absolutely hate them, but this, these are just reels that I grew up on. I'm just very familiar with them. And I mean, I've caught, I've caught several fish off this couple of some of the biggest bass I've ever caught. Um, even a couple saltwater fish. I've had a couple of redfish, um, speckled trout off of it too. Other than that, yeah, that is the Curado 200G6. Up next, we have the Core 100MG. So this reel has basically been my baby. This reel was priced at $350 when I bought it. Was it pricey? Yes. Was it worth it? Yes. This reel has all the bells and whistles you could ask for. Here are some of the specs. Magnesium frame, magnesium side plates, 6.2 to 1 gear ratio, 5 ball bearings. It's super compact and it weighs in at about 8 ounces. Sure you can find some lighter reels on the market today, but um, at the time this was still pretty light. Um, here is the brakes on the inside. Um, yeah, it's got a frame that protects it on the inside. It's still, it's pretty cool. but. Overall, still a super nice reel. I mean, yeah, I hoped it would be super nice. I paid $350 for it at the time. This reel even came with its own little reel bag too. I mean, you can't get any more fancy than that. Like, oh my gosh. I remember saving up for this reel whenever I first got it. It was about, I mean, I couldn't imagine spending $350 on a reel at the time, but um, my dad, he had this um, Abu Garcia Revo Premier priced at $275. And I kind of thought maybe probably all right if I got something super nice and sure enough I found a Shimano that I really liked and it happened to be this model and I still have it and I still use it and I'm, this is probably another reel that I'm going to use for another 10 years so yeah that is the Shimano Core 100 MG so up next we have the Shimano Curado DC 
Um, this reel cost me about $279 as a 8.5 to 1 gear ratio with an aluminum frame, six ball bearings plus one roller bearing, and the DC brake. For those of you that don't know, DC is basically a computer chip that acts as the reel's braking system. That is very scientific. Don't know how the hell they figured that out. This has been in development for several years and primarily sold in the Japanese markets. I believe it started somewhere, may have been as early as 2010. Don't quote me on that, but it's been around a lot longer than a lot of us think. People in the US used to buy these reels off of the Japanese domestic market. Um, some people got screwed over and some people got rewarded. I personally didn't know anybody in real life that did this, so I stayed away from doing it. But from my research, the best way to get those reels was off of eBay. But my thoughts on the DC brake, I love it. Never had any issues with backlashes or anything else. And honestly, overall, the build of this reel seems like another reel I'm probably just going to have for another 10 years. So yeah, that is the Curado DC. So overall, those were a review and kind of a look back on some of the Shimano reels that I have used in the past. Um, obviously, the Curado DC is a newer reel and I haven't had it quite as long as these three. Um, these three are really older models. I believe the oldest one is the Sitica. I can't remember when I got it exactly. It might have been 2009, 10, I don't know. But um, overall, they're all solid reels. All of them have lasted me for a long time. All have caught me some very, very nice fish. Um, so yeah, um, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for the view and have a good day.